Good morning here from the Haddock shop here in Texas. Uh, we've been up for a few hours just loading stuff in the trailer. Pretty much all that's left is put the funny car on the ground, tie down the altar, push the funny car up, and tie it down. And then we're out of here. I get to drive a race car today. Funny car is put up and ready to go racing. Let's do this. All right, what's up? So I am sitting here in the race car shop. We are going to leave in a few minutes. But something that uh, maybe doesn't get seen or I'm not talking about it enough or showing it enough is how nerve wracking all of this is. Like getting in one of the race cars, like everybody can say, oh yeah, it's super easy to do, whatever. You just get in, there's a procedure and you step on the gas. How hard can it be? But it's, it's really not like that. And it's something you can't really explain un unless you're talking to someone who's done it, like dad or other drivers but um um i'm not going out today when we're going out i'm going out and i'm doing the exact same thing that i did in vegas do a burnout back up and we're gonna see if the track can hold um a further run than we did in vegas so the first run is going to be the same and then the next run um depending on dad how dad feels i do and how he feels the track is he might let me go a bit further but uh i am really nervous about this this like it's not easy to do uh, everybody can say it is they can think it is but um that's something you it's really hard to explain but uh I'm going to go listen to my hype music and uh, while we drive, and I'll see you guys when we get there. We are here. We're going to get the cars unloaded real quick, and I will see you guys when we get that done. Dad's under torquing the rods right now, and we specifically wait to torque the rods until we're here because different manufacturers, specifically uh, Bill Miller and DSR, recommend torquing the rods uh, just before you run. And we run AJ rods, so it doesn't really matter, but Dad still torques them when we get here just to be safe. So Dad's down there doing that, and I'm over here turning the motor. Let's do this. Let's go racing. Both cars are on the ground and about ready to go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take Mr. Boston's altered up and run that. And then we have the fool's errand right here sitting ready to go. So we'll bring Mr. Boston's car back and just tow my car up and I'll get to go. So we're on it. Heather is working on strapping dad in right now. This track is really cool because you'll see all kinds of super, super beautiful race cars. And then you'll see some cars that are like the craziest creations that you will ever see at a racetrack. And it's super cool. XRP is an awesome racetrack in NS. It's only a couple miles from the Texas Motorplex and it is the nicest eighth mile facility you will ever go to. So if you're ever in the area, check it out. So I'm assuming dad's gonna go out and do like a fantastic burnout. So I'm gonna go out a ways and uh, catch that on camera because dad's kind of the king of burnouts in NHRA. I am seriously excited to see dad's burnout. I think he's gonna go out and do like a huge, awesome one. So I'm super excited to see it. Also, there's a fantastic sunset tonight. It's really cool. I like sunsets. We've done it. 
Never, always stop and smell the sunsets. Or stop and watch something. Okay, Dad's gonna try it again, um, but he's gonna shut it off if he feels like anything's wrong. Okay, I'm sitting in Mr. Boston's car. We're still on the track because um, they don't have anybody pushing you off, but uh, it smoked the tires instantly, Dad said. So. We're gonna go back and get the fool's errand, and I'm not sure if we're gonna make another hit with this tonight, but the thing is cool. No better way to start the new year than with nitro, an amazing sunset, and hanging out with my friends and family. Today is a really, really good day. This thing is so hard to drive back compared to the funny car, it's fine. <laughs> like, it's all over the place. It's because it's got such a short wheel base, it's a lot harder to drive. So, this thing is awesome. Okay, we're rolling up. It's uh, time to do this. I'm going to get back to focusing on driving. So, the camera's going to be handed off to someone. Awesome, that is the coolest thing ever. Okay, so we are packing up right now because there's this thing called a dew point, and basically, the way I understand it, the way it's been explained to me, is it's the humidity in the air. And when the dew point is lower, it is a lot harder to drive the car and it's not safe. But um, so we're only making the one run tonight with the Fool's Errand, but next weekend we will be back and we're gonna do that one more time just to make sure I'm on top of everything and dad's gonna let me go two or three hundred feet which is going to be really really awesome dad is super super happy with how I did tonight I was on top of everything and he said the car would have gone really good if he didn't have the timer on it so we're gonna get this packed up and then uh, we'll go to dinner I'm not sure what the plan for dinner is yet and then uh, we're on our way home that's a good looking funny car I like it sexy Good morning. I realized while I was sitting here editing this video that I never closed out my video last night. Uh, when we got back to the shop, it was like one in the morning and we were all dead and I didn't really do anything other than shower and go to bed. But um, next weekend, we might be getting to go out again with the little car. It, uh, we've got to wait for the track to call us back, which would be super cool if we get to go out again. And even though I went the same distance that I went in Vegas, it, I still learn something every time. And it's not something I fully realized like dad was saying it to me, but I didn't realize it until after this run, uh, after the run I made last night. Like something so small and little, like something you'd never think of is your helmet fogs up when you put the visor down at uh, when like it's getting cool outside, your um, helmet's gonna fog up from your breath. So that's something that I learned yesterday. So each little run I'm doing is building my confidence and building my abilities. And um, this is something that not many people get to do. And it's awesome that I'm even getting the experience to go 40 feet in it. And next weekend, we're gonna go out and do the same thing one more time. And then after that, dad's going to possibly let me go a little bit further. But 
I'm super excited for next weekend. Uh, this week, we still have a lot going on the, in the shop. My Camaro is actually leaving, uh, like, tomorrow, and we're at working on that today. So there'll be, be a video out soon, but make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you to everybody for watching, and never give up.